everyone, I'm Rudrani and this is a very special episode of Zoom Speak Easy. Happy Diwali and this Diwali I am celebrating with a person who is full of life, who is sparkling always and doing so well for herself. She's made us proud internationally and continues to do so. I'm talking about the lovely Manushi Shiller. Hello. Hello. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. It's so lovely that we are doing this here. There is something very special about festivals, isn't it? Always. That, always, right? And I think that that's the one thing I love about like just living in a country like India because every month there's something to celebrate. Yeah, we just finished Ganesh Chaturthi, yeah. Durga Puja and here we are. But there's something very special about Diwali, right? Besides the lights and the amazing food, what I think we all cherish Diwali for is that we all try to take out some time and celebrate with family. Yeah. With friends, meet up, have fun. As actors, and especially now, you have become so busy, which is a great thing. Taking out that time specifically for festivals is something that everybody looks forward to. Yes. So how how does the Schiller residence look <laughs> during Diwali? And what is your most favorite thing to do? See, I've come from a family where both my parents were working. So we've always grown up to cherish that little time we got together. Yeah. Now, when my life is chaotic and busy and I'm like literally city hopping there are days where I come home and I sleep but I don't get to see my parents for like a week mm. uh, so we we really like we really value that time that we get together um, luckily during festivals everyone's home everyone's trying to do things together everyone's uh, deciding what we're going to eat uh, you know the parties we're going to I, I kind of go and visit so it's it's a fun time and I mm. love what I really love is that we all have our own traditions and our own roles when uh, during a festival and I think mine is to make a ranguli which I have to do after this interview oh, really? <laughs> so I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do there but uh, it's nice to actually have the family bond over you know something uh, as auspicious as Diwali. And like we were discussing, with Diwali comes Diwali parties. This yes. year, I see that Manushi is there in all the all the popular Diwali parties of the city. Oh God. Of course, from the Tarani I'm channeling street. my inner social butterfly for a change this Hena? season. Yeah. But it looked like a lot of fun. Uh, you yes. look stunning, by the way. I saw Thank your outfits you. and Manishas and, and all the others that you've been going to. Thank you. Sure, there are a few more. Uh, but tell us how it has been because, you know, you've been someone who's, of course, you know, has put herself out there because of the profession that you're in, but mm -hmm. you're also very private, right? And you, mm -hmm. you kind of protected that part of it. But now you have people you worked with, you have friends. Uh, so it's a different, I think, um, step in the direction of it. So tell me how these parties have been for you. See, I think, and fortunately for me, much before my first film came out, I think the industry and people in the industry have been very welcoming. Yeah. Um, and I think I've had my own fair share of like going to a party but personally I think I never really uh, I've always looked at it as a showing face situation I don't mm. think I kind of was I wasn't the one who would mingle a lot yeah, yeah. Um, now that I've worked a little more I'm more familiar with everyone that I'm working with uh, this time I, I kind of wanted to be more out there I wanted to go have fun <laughs> I wanted to go out with friends that I now have yeah. so uh, it's nice. It's it's not too bad. But I am I am I think I inherently tend to be more reserved. I like yeah. my own space. Like I was, we were just talking yeah. about it yeah. before the interview. That yes, I have done my few you know parties and stuff. But I think tomorrow, especially when <laughs> I'm pretty much going to be at home, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much going to be in my own space doing my own thing with family and right? not available on phone at all for that one day. <laughs> Which is the best thing to do, yeah. right? With the yes. lives that you live in. I know that there is always great food. We've discussed yes. this. Yes. I want to know what does the Diwali uh, table look like at your residence and what's your favorite oh mithai and stuff to have? So, uh, of course, there's a lot of food and yeah. my parents throughout the year mm. are very, very uh, strict and are very particular about what they're feeding us. So, it's always a very like a fixed thing. Ah. Uh, boring food, but but healthy food, <laughs> ah, you know, good correct. food. Uh, making sure we're getting enough protein and fat and carbs, and it's it's a, it's like our balanced Wholesome. diet. Which our father, literally our father, sits and he measures how much we've had at the end of the day because he's so specific about nutrition. But Diwali time is that one time where our mother is like, okay, taste buds are going to take over. And the one thing that I love because I come from Haryana, Correct. we have Aate ka Halwa. And I love it. My mother makes it at home. And every year after the puja, we have so much of Halwa, which is of course a lot, lots of sugar, lots of ghee. 
uh, lots of grain, but that, that's, that's one. It's also got a feeling of nostalgia to it because even my yeah. grandparents, my paternal grandparents uh, used to make it. My maternal mm. grandparents always make it whenever there's a celebration at home. So yeah, I think halwa is something that we all really enjoy. Fantastic. Listen, I love, I exactly know my friend used to, had given me aate ka halwa and it's just the <laughs> best thing ever. That's the only way to describe it. Ekdam amazing. Yeah. Uh, but we were discussing about Diwali parties. I must say, like I said, I think you looked absolutely stunning. Who Thank did you. you sort of were like, hmm, I like it. Which outfits do you think you really liked? You saw so many of them looked, all of them looked gorgeous, I know. Yes. But some that you really thought, and I really like that. And also, what is it that you like particularly styling yourselves during this festive uh, season? How does that go by? I think for me, it's it depends on mood. Uh, what am I feeling that mm. day? Have I had a really long day? So I want to go easy peasy or am I feeling really dressy? So I want to yeah. go all out. It really depends. But what I always try to do and that's what I've, we've attempted to do me and my team yeah. that we've decided that this time our looks are not going to be repetitive. We are going to kind of Change. channel different <laughs> versions of me. Yeah. Keeping the base and the core of it the same because I, I am feminine and I like the whole uh, classic feminine feel of things. Yeah. But we've tried to do things differently. Uh, a look that I absolutely loved was Kriti Sari at Manish's uh, party. I think it's a color that really complements her. The blue was lovely. I yeah. think the whole look put together, uh, you know, she is a pretty girl but made her look even better. What has been your favorite Diwali memory? I think every year there's so much to Diwali. I mean, even growing up in the North, it would be that as a kid also, it would be that one time where I'd get to meet all my friends, which I still do. Yeah. Um, I think I had a lot more time to prepare for the festival. That's what I loved. <laughs> now it's just like, I mean, I was, I was having a chat with my parents yesterday and I said that, okay, I'm going to do the rangoli tomorrow, I promise. Yeah. I'm going to help you decorate the house. And I'm also cooking dinner, Ooh. Diwali dinner for them. Oh, so, lovely. What are you cooking? I still have to sit with my brother and we have Maybe to figure out a menu because we're that. like, what do we do? But I've promised them it's going to be festive, it's going to be nice and I'm going to try healthier versions of things. So that's a, that's a little bit of a challenge, mm. but that's something I really want to do. Yeah. Um, and I think my favorite memory again would be with my sister. So me and my uh, sister, we'd both be in charge of decorating our house. Yeah. So the rangoli would be my department, lights would be her department, you know, she'd kind of guide everyone what to do. <laughs> so I think that, that, that time was great. Sometimes we would fight over creative differences. You know, then we'd make up. And I, I think I think that that's the time that I've really enjoyed. And I really miss that uh, about childhood because my sister now lives in Chandigarh. So I don't get to see her that often. Mm. And this time, of course, she's celebrating Diwali uh, at her house in Chandigarh and we're here. So I'm really going to be missing her. But uh, my favorite memory would be the whole decoration part of it. Which is, I think, and no matter amazing. how bad, our parents would always praise it. <laughs> I love that. think you have an artistic streak. <laughs> no, no, lo love, love that about being a, about being a kid. You know, whatever you do, you can do no wrong. <laughs> you can do no wrong. But मुझे ये जानना है कि lucky in love or lucky in cards. How well uh, did you win? Did you play cards? Did you win? I don't play cards, mm. and I don't even know how to. <laughs> so None? not even for fun. I have never played. Okay. As in, I've I've played like versions of card games but huh. never on Diwali. Okay. Uh, I'd love to learn though. <laughs> I'd love to learn those games but I don't know how to play. One I'll teach you. It's called yeah. marriage. My mother taught me. It's okay. very like intelligent. I think you'll enjoy She's it. really good at cards. My mother. Uh, but I mean like you know she, she doesn't play it with money. She plays yeah. it because she likes the whole like the, the usage of the brain in tech tactics. Yeah. But I'm, I will teach you that. I, I, don't, I don't know how to play cards. Okay. I, the only cards I play is Uno. <laughs> I mean I don't know how to play cards. So Isn't what if funny? when everybody else is playing, are you like standing in the corner observing, thinking, hmm, interesting. I'm watching, I'm eating, I'm talking to my <laughs> friends, I'm like tutoring people to not burst crackers, being that annoying person. I'm, I think I'm doing everything else. I love it. But we don't just have cards at home. We yeah. have, I think I enjoy playing Jenga a lot. So oh, we, yeah. we play that. I think I'm really good at it. You're good at Jenga. So, so, so we have like this, this collection of board games that we Correct. play. Oh, I love so, it. So cards not necessarily. Oh listen, I'm a, I'm a board game person. Yeah. We were yeah. going to plan. One day. One I find day. cards a little cliche also on Diwali. Haan, ki khel nahi hai, yeah, ki, yeah. yeah, it's a it's a thing, right? Everybody's doing and it. And paiso ke liye to main kabhi nahi khelti. Yeah. Ek baar maine Akshay sir se convince ho ke Ludo khel liya tha and I lost and I realized that don't and never again. Do? Never again. Oh god. I thought okay. 
They have no no problem. One day you're going to make sure that uh, you win. We're yeah, going to win. Yeah. One day, one day. <laughs> She's like one day. I'll, I'll learn from your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We will, we will. Yeah. What we saw in great Indian family was the fact that you had not done a role like that, right? You were presented very differently. Mm -hmm. um, there was a very different energy. I love the look, by the way. It was very... Thank you. Also, I think the character itself was extremely empowered in that way. You know, she, she, was, she wasn't waiting for to be saved by anyone. And I think I liked that, right? Uh, tell me a little more on that because, you know, I think the fate of the film might be anything, but you also got a lot of love for that. I think that's the one thing. See, I've only had two releases. Mm. So I've never had that many opportunities to, uh, you know, those many opportunities to present myself in different characters. And uh, I remember when uh, after, you know, this was during the first lockdown yeah. and I, things had just opened up and I'd started doing my classes again and I was happened to be at YRF and Adisa was like, I need to talk to you. Hmm. And I remember he came and he's like, you know what, uh, we've obviously we've done one film and I feel that there is another film that I'm making and uh, I think that this girl is everything you don't seem to be yeah. in terms of expression. He said, I want to give you this challenge. But you see, you see what, you know, how, yeah, what you feel yeah. about it. And I think he was very positive that this would be something good for me as an actor to kind of explore something very different. Correct. And I was new, you know, I think uh, I told him, I'm like, I'm, I'm new, I'm just starting out. And for me, it, even today, I feel that it's, variety is great yeah. because during that prep, and that's what I really enjoy, you kind of discover a new side to yourself. Mm. And being someone who, I mean, someone who's been an introvert, I really enjoy that process. So I remember that happened and I, uh, I, you know, I heard the, the narration and I, I think I even did a few screen tests with Victor Sir for, uh, you know, a few scenes. And I think the, the first thing that he kind of taught me was you need to be able to like curse in Hindi, abuse, and it needs to sound like you do this every day, okay, That's without like ah. thinking about it. I said, okay, fine. So I remember a lot of times he'd be like, just bol do, ye bol do, wo bol do. I used to be like... Excuse my language, like, Gade ka bacha. He's like, nahi, nahi, go more, go more. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I think, I think that funny thing was that that was, you know, what they really so now sat with me on. Certified? But, uh, now you're certified, I can abuse well in Hindi when required types. <laughs> See, the feeling is the same. Now, the words are different. Yeah. I think I've never used those words, but the yeah. feeling comes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there, there are situations in life where you yeah. feel like, oh, I'm going to kill this person. Mm. But uh, but I'll tell you what I really enjoyed. I think that's the most fun I've had on set. I've said this before as well. I think Victor Sir is one of the nicest people I know. Mm. Uh, he is lovely to work with. And, you know, when you're working with Yashraj, you know you're in good hands. Yeah. You know that even if you're trying something really new, they will come to you and they'll be like, listen, yeah. You did not do a good job here. You better do a good job now. So I think that's what I like. I like the whole honesty. Um, I had a good time. I think uh, I loved, I just loved the fact that it was such a sweet, simple story on family. Yeah. And I, I think for me, family is very special. Yeah. So it was just a project I wanted to be a part of. And also, of course, I'm sure like working with someone like Vicky, you know, both yes. of you, I think, had such a nice, warm sort of... Um, you know, bond. And I think that reflected, it looked like you all really vibed. I think, uh, I mean, Vicky is a wonderful actor. So there's a lot to learn from him. Mm. And this was only my second film. Mm. So for me to kind of see someone who, see, I experienced a very, you know, I experienced the best in the industry when I did yeah. my first film. Yeah. Yeah. And then working with Vicky, who's whose method of prep is so different. I remember we started, we used to also do like readings mm, together. So yeah. we were quite comfortable by the time we, Correct. you know, we started shoot. And uh, he's just so easy and he's just so sweet to work with. Mm, <laughs> you know, mm. you, you can't get over the fact how sweet he is. And <laughs> I think he just, he just makes everything seem so normal. So I had a good time and I, I think I learned a lot from him. And he's a wonderful actor. And that's something which I feel that people will agree everywhere. I think that's that's something you cannot debate about. Yeah. You do, he has a lot of, you like him a lot when you see him on screen. Which is fair. He has that quality. Yeah, he is, absolutely. Um, and also, I, I hope that uh, you stole Vicky's playlist because anything that Vicky vibes on is internet's favourite thing. So he, no, no, he introduced <laughs> me to Punjabi music. I know, I knew <laughs> And him did. and Victor sir would be like vibing and I, they used to be like, ye gaana nahi pata, wo gaana nahi pata. <laughs> so I, I, I kind of warmed into that whole zone. But it's, it's fab. Um, you mentioned Akshay uh, and I have to say, how is Bade Mia 
How is it going? <laughs> How is that film? You need to ask them because I have never said that I'm on the film, so hmm. we don't know anything about that. But I'm excited. I have heard that Manush is in the film. But I've also Chotinia. heard, <laughs> and it'll be fun, right, to be working with Akshay and Tiger again. I mean, Tiger for your first time. And, and I'd love to work with Akshay so again and again. I'd love to work with Tiger. <laughs> Why not? But we are excited. We're excited. So we'll we be. We heard there's a lot of action. There's that. So we're excited. But talking about, I like how poised and nice. <laughs> we understand. They have rules. They can't talk too much about things that are supposed to be announced soon. But on that note, I mentioned action. How can I not mention your Telugu debut? Yes. It's an aerial action. Yes. With Varun Tej. Mm -hmm. And we're going to obviously talk about how he's just recently the most happily married man. He looked amazing in those pictures. Happy. Yes. But it's your Telugu debut. You must tell me how how it was in the sets and how it's going. For me, I mean, of course, this this was a very exciting uh, project to take up because. I remember I was on my flight, hmm. on my way to Scotland to shoot for Tehran. Yeah. I was just starting shoot for Tehran, and I remember my agent said that okay, there's this film that Sony is making. It's on Air Force, and it's going to be fun. And I said okay, great. And then comes I said okay, but what is the role? What is it about? So she she says that it's uh, you know it's it's on it's on uh, Air Force, and this guy he goes to. Uh, battle and then his wife is waiting at home yeah. and things like that. I said, okay, fine. I mean, cool. We'll we'll read yeah. the script. Why not? Yeah. And I started reading the script and I'm like, where is this wife who's waiting at home? Okay. And then I realized I'm like, this is not the wife that's wa that's mm. waiting at home. This is the wife who's who's a radar controller yeah. who's working with him. Fab. And I was like, this is so cool. I mean, I think it's great yeah. that we're talking about women in the armed forces. Absolutely. Uh, and just the camaraderie that everyone shares. Mm. I love the script. I think I love the love the way it was written. Um, met the director. I think everything just we vibed really well. Everything just worked out. And yeah. cut to I was on set. Uh, didn't know Telugu at all. Yeah. And I remember them telling me they said, "Don't worry, all the all the locals from uh, the crew they were like, don't worry, we've done this before. Yeah. We're like connoisseurs of making you speak in Telugu. So I said, मुझे नहीं आती मतलब ये भाषा आप you know at least like let's yeah. sit with the coach how do i do this yeah. don't worry we'll figure it out and i think we pretty much figured it out yeah. i'm very surprised now when i watch my telugu scenes i'm like i sound like i've been speaking telugu my whole mm. life so fun it was it was a good experience i think it's a very different industry yeah. so just working uh, somewhere else uh, kind of uh, taught me on how everyone deals with the same profession so differently i had a lot of fun i think you can really enjoy stardom when you're working yeah. you know uh, when you're working down south and uh, every everything just i think everything luckily just fell into place on that project and like we were discussing it was also the time when he was wrapping up stuff and then uh, you know yes and he was ready to go for his wedding and i remember he kept telling me he's like i really need to wrap this film i have no i have to be there for my wedding prep and poor thing he was you know i remember when we were we were recently yeah. shooting for a for a song and i think he was just like on phone and he was like uh, i need to go mm. now i need to i need to go figure out i need to finalize things there yeah. and you, and then come for shoot so i think uh, wedding is a lot of work i learned i learned that <laughs> after working with varun but i'm so glad i think it was about time he got married to lavanya 7 years ago it was meeting. about about time they both got married and i think they look so happy and Uh, it's it's good. I think everyone's uh, yeah. been congratulating them. Uh, he's I I remember you know just talking to him and he's he was pretty much like you know we've known each other for so long. It's mm. it just makes sense. Yeah. You you were telling me that you asked him that you know does it feel different? Yeah. And then he said, "Nay, seven years ho gaya hai, so it pretty much." And you said, "Wait for some time." And then he came back. and yeah. he said yeah it does feel so the wait for some time also from someone who's also observed things around to see that it feels so that is why the question to you how do you look at love and marriage today and and do you think as an actor it's difficult today for you to find your own space find out um you know and protect it and keep it and nurture it till the end i feel that uh, because i don't come from an industry background i have a lot of friends who are not from the industry mm. so i feel the struggles of love or finding love or uh the i don't know the the question mark as to will is this person the one is this going to uh, you know kind of yeah. uh become something that we, are we going to be together forever and you know just sure. questions like that 
I feel like it's the same, irrespective of your profession, because mm. you really have to trust, you really have to like kind of let go of all your inhibitions and really, you know, be a part of someone else. But at the same time, of course, as an actor, because you're so much out, more out there, your life is spoken about. And even if, you know, I mean, I, I've experienced this where even if I'm, I'm having a conversation with a person, you know, people would put two and two and would want to scandalize things. That happens as an actor. But I feel like, it's it's perfectly fine for me. I feel that marriage and love and everything else is not something that is on the top of my mind or something that I'm actively thinking about. I've always been someone, and this I've told you before as well, who always planned her life. I said, okay, you know what, I'll finish my MBBS at this age, yeah, then yeah. I'm going to go do my, uh, my MD or my MS, and then I'm going to you know, do my super specialization and start working mm -hmm. here. I had it all planned and nothing went according to that plan. Yeah. And the one thing that I've learned is that you have to embrace the uncertainty of life and don't plan anything. Mm -hmm. And even today, my funda is what works for me works, doesn't work for me, doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. But I kind of believe in going with the flow in life. And mm -hmm. I don't have, uh, I, don't, I don't see any difficulty or any ease. Uh, I'm not someone who's, seeking love in any way. I feel that... It'll come to you. Yeah, it, 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 if it's meant for you, it, it comes to you. And yeah. I think the right things have come to me at the right time in my life. Yeah. Uh, and for that, I'm very, very fortunate. I mm. feel there is someone up there sitting and blessing me and, you know, telling me that I have, I have things, uh, good things planned for you. And, and that's what I followed. I've never yeah. actively sat and thought about, this is what I want to do, this is what I don't want to do. But I will say this, that I do come from a very closely knit family. And yeah. I think family for me is very important. And I do see the value of having my own family at some point in life. Yeah. Maybe not today. Now that we're talking about it, yeah. you know, I'm just thinking, what do I really think about it? Yeah. Um, I do see the value in that. And that's mm. how I've been brought up. Yeah. So maybe, yes, hopefully if I meet the right person at some point. But right now, it's, I mean, I, I'm never going to seek it. Yeah. I think I'm, I've never been seeking uh, it. I feel like whatever is meant for you happens at the right mm. time. You're single and happy and just the way it is. Is that how it is? I'm single yeah. and uh, happy and yeah, I think just taking each day as it comes. But that'll, that'll not happen, right? I've spoken to a lot of actors about them. They've given me interesting answers about that, you know, that like you, they also hope that they manifest into meeting that person in some way or the other. And that that relationship is genuine, right? Um, I don't, I, I mean, I've, ne I've never thought about it. I've never At actively all, no? thought about it. I mean, I go to a party to kind of just enjoy, okay. have fun, meet my friends, have a good time. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I also feel that you, you know, sometimes we so actively look for something that we'll accept whatever is thrown at us. It's so really right. important to value yourself, see your worth and realize that whatever is meant for you will come to you. Ladies, this is the best advice here, here. But I agree with this last and, sentence. And you, know, and you know what to add to that? Yeah. Now, now, now that I'm wiser and I've observed <laughs> so much around yeah. me and I've seen a lot of my friends yeah. go through relationships, yeah. I personally feel that it's so important for men and women to both be independent in every aspect yeah. because that's when you're going, you are going to accept what you truly feel is worth you. Yeah, yeah. Deserve, what, what you truly feel deserves you. And I think that's something which... Fortunately for me, uh, that's a, that's a self worth that my parents had instilled at a very young age. Yeah, yeah. So I've, you know, I feel that you need to once you have something in your life, mm. you need to work hard, you need to give it its due, um, and you need to value it. But till then, don't chase it. This is one of the best advices. I completely agree with you. I think. Uh, and we live in a good time. Women are independent today. Hundred percent. So, particularly all the ladies, please listen in. Uh, this is great advice. Uh, but yeah, I think it's wonderful that we're at this stage. So, and you were just saying, right, like you're seen with someone, they'll, they'll click a picture and they'll scandalize. How do you de deal with any kind of dating rumors that come out? Do you laugh over it? Do you for a moment take back and say, should I react to it? Because I think two years back, you would have very, today I think you will react to things differently than you when you start, right? I feel like more patience, thicker skin. <laughs> True, no? True, so no? I think you, you get less affected by why are things being said about you which aren't true mm. like kind of you, you kind of get used to it but I've never reacted I think there have been a lot of things that have been said about me which yeah. are absolutely untrue but I don't think I've ever you know reacted or like tried to clarify it because I believe that the people in my life the people that truly matter whether they are my friends or my family know my life I'm mm. an open book yeah. um I mean, I live with my parents, so they pretty much know what my day is like yeah. and what I do. 
I've never hid anything from them. Mm. But uh, if strangers would think something otherwise, I don't see the... I'm too busy just figuring out my life and how yeah. demanding my profession is. My energy goes into that. I don't mm. think I've... I've never clarified anything yeah. before. Yeah. And even now I don't. It's just that maybe early I'd wonder, ah, why are they saying this? Yeah. But yeah. then now today I'm like, okay, you know. I mean, it'll die down. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. And your parents are, like your parents are the kind of parents who are, don't get bothered about this. I think that also helps. Because, you know, so I love parents. They would get bothered if any of the scandalous stuff was true. Uh, of course. Or, I mean, they would probably like think about it yeah. if it was true. If they also know what's going on, then they're also like, okay, you know, we're kind of used to it. Yeah, which is also a relief, right? Like, See, for me, yeah. when I came to Mumbai, fortunately, my parents also came here to yeah. support me and help me through this profession mm. that I didn't know anything about and they didn't know anything okay. about. So we're pretty much like figuring it out together. But uh, because we're figuring it out together, as I'm growing to understand yeah. that, you know, there'll be a lot of things that'll be said about you. Yeah not necessarily will be true. They are also figuring that out. Yeah. We're, we're having the same parallel journeys. journeys. Uh, last time you got shipped with Ram Charan. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I, think I it's never said lovely. I wanted to date him. I only said I would love to work with yeah, him. Yeah. But I think, like, I think all of them kind of said nice things. Like, this, I we hope we get to see them together. And I love to work with him. I mean, you know, you see, sometimes you, go, I'm, I love watching films. Yeah. And you go to a theatre and in India, especially the kind of films that we make, you, you know, you see this hero and you're like, oh my God, wow. I think yeah. that's what I felt when I saw him on screen. Mm, that's true. He does have that aura. Yes. Okay. We are back to our fun segment. Okay. I'm going to ask you things like Diwali related things. Uh, mm -hmm. But you'll have to tell me a personality trait of the person, an actor from the Hindi film industry that you feel is similar. I'll explain to you. You will get okay. it when I'm trying to say. Like, for example, if I say the sweetness of Kaju Katli. Like that. So oh, you, okay. Okay, got it. And then name an actor. Yeah, name an actor who you think and give a reason as to why you said that. It okay. can be people who you've met. doesn't have to be someone who you know only mm -hmm. from the Indian film industry. Okay. Okay. Shall we do this? Yes. This is fun and mm -hmm. sweet. Sweet, okay. Yeah. The sweetness of Kaju Katli. <laughs> I like how you gave that one to me. Yeah, I was like, e uh, wala to, you must have This thought. is a tough one, I think. Vicky. Ah. He's sweet in every way. <laughs> I think he's one of the nicest people. I've always seen him be so nice to people around him. So, Vicky. Sparkle of the sparkler. sparkler. Uh -huh. I think it has to be Priyanka Chopra. Oh, yeah. Priyanka Chopra Jonas. I think uh, she's a pataka. Full jari. She's a full jari, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. <laughs> she's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Love her. On and off screen, yeah. She's such an inspiration. I think uh, I just love listening to her talk. I just love it. And yeah. I think I've only met her once in my life. But that's been one of the <laughs> nicest conversations I've had with someone. Yeah. She's a pataka. Henna? Yeah. The forever kind of light that Dia gives. <laughs> so, Dia. Oof. The forever kind of light. Like, the, there's a certain warmth that comes from that person that's always there, right? And that's how Dia is. Dia kind of lasts mm -hmm. through the night. I have thought through Madhuri this, by the Vikshit. way. Madhuri Vikshit. Madhuri I think Madhuri, ma'am, every time I meet her, there's something so nice. There's, mm. she, she has this very nice, warm aura. And she's always so sweet. And I, I love the fact that with so much grace, I've always seen her with so much grace. And whenever she's spoken to me, it's yeah. just it's just been so sweet. It's just It just had a certain amount of warmth and a certain amount of, uh, you know, feeling of, you know, hey, I'm your senior, don't worry, I'm here for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, 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 love, I love that about her. So, like you, because you mentioned that, I'm going to say that. Who would you what? compare? The, the comfort that, that you feel when you eat halwa. halwa. <laughs> you got what I was going with. But a lot halwa. of houses actually make halwa during uh, Diwali. Who is halwa here? You Oof. know, simple to make. Simple to me. Varun. Varun, Varun. Yeah, yeah. He's, I think he's a very simple person. Um, Varun Tej or Varun Dhavan? Varun Tej. Varun ah. Tej. Even Varun Dhavan, Dhavan is a very simple person. But uh, I'd say Varun Tej because he's just, he's just so normal. You know, he's, yeah. he's grown up in, a, in an industry family, one of mm. the biggest families. Yeah. Um, and I, whenever I talk to him, I just don't feel like I'm talking to someone from the industry. I feel like I'm talking to someone that I probably grew up with. Probably he could have been from 
his parents could have been doctors his parents could have been lawyers mm. i can never he just he just gives such a normal and a relatable vibe that's yeah. what i love about him but not fussy at all so there's something uh, he re- he really reminds me of the friends that i grew up with yeah so maybe something nostalgic like halwa is varun oh i like it it's cute no what yeah, nicely yeah, nice okay the colorful rangoli ranveer singh i Bang think on. there are there's so much to him and there's so much so many facets to his personality and what i love about it is that he doesn't shy away from showing it mm. i think he's very uh, he can be this and that and yeah. this and that and i think that's what i love about him yeah, and he's very expressive very expressive about it 100% mm. and also comfortable in his skin right that's beautiful yeah i think that that's wonderful and that that's one thing which i really uh, respect you know whenever i see someone just being comfortable and being themselves and being unapologetic about how they are mm-hmm. i love it i love it yes of course okay in this kandil that's right there behind you as well it is the the grace and the shine that when you when a kandil when you're lighting it and it floats away in the sky so mm-hmm. who would you describe as that person who has that kind that's of that. has that has that all factor because you're right. always looking when a kandil flies away right <laughs> the lantern yeah the lantern the floating light who would be that that's a tough one huh that's a that's a good one yeah like in awe right like when you're in awe I of think that person sharuk khan of course <laughs> we're all in awe of sharuk khan we're all in, it's it's and sharuk he's world just living in it getting bigger and better and he's literally like that floating light he's going up and up and up yeah <laughs> not ready to stop and you have a sharuk connection as well right do like, you remember it started with on stage in film fair yes yes it did i think one of the few lucky girls who got to be on stage with two of her favorite actors i think sharuk sir and ranveer were there yeah. and it was my oh my god this is amazing moment <laughs> i love that okay so now now that we've done this part of it i'll quickly uh, add a few more about what's been your best diwali gift and if not you said if you're confused about it the next question will be what is it that you hope you get what has been my best diwali gift i really don't remember to be honest uh can be something cute well i think uh, just me being able to spend time with family Aww. i think that's always very sweet um and what am i looking forward to would mm. be the same thing to do that tomorrow <laughs> how sweet see you're not materialistic at all See how simple hey, when you it. work like <laughs> when you work almost every single day and you hardly get time so with true. family you realize that you know you realize that value for doing this if you could wish everybody yeah very very special diwali because we get to celebrate with manushi and your thoughts on that wishing you all a very very happy diwali and i hope that this year brings lots of joy lots of love lots of family time and lots of light into your lives Thank you so much, and um, I really, really appreciate that you took out some time and did this for us. She's in our studio, at Times Network Studio here uh, at the Zoom office, and we're delighted. Thank you for coming in. Is and because you've been someone who's always, you know, stood up for things that are right. As an actor in this time of digital age, where AI has taken over, it is so difficult. sometimes to manage what you see and believe what you see people are believing what they see we saw rashmika yes. point out about the deep fake images and others right mm-hmm. and it's very disturbing for me like to see that act and it's been going on for a while i'm so glad that they are speaking up how have you dealt and and felt about this whole situation because i think it's unfair right to do it to women to have zero respect and to to do the things that they do on in internet and but it, it is unfortunate yeah and uh, i'm so glad that everyone spoke up when this happened with rashmika but i think it's been happening for a long time exactly uh, if not videos there have been morphed pictures of actresses which is unfortunate because acting is a profession and we're mm. all from uh, you know we we're all like any other females in the in the world yeah. that we you know we go home uh, we do the same things at home and then we get up and then we go and we yeah. we're, we're, we're you know we follow a certain profession we go and act um and i feel that no female should have to go through this irrespective um what i'm really happy is that there is a judgment today mm. uh, an action has been taken which uh, also makes me believe so much in the power of being a celebrity yeah. because you know things are spoken about and when something happens uh, to someone who's popular yeah. then there is a certain light that that issue gets yeah. and i'm so happy that today such a judgment is not only going to help actresses Everybody. but women 
and men everywhere. Yeah. So it's it's important to talk about this. It's important to talk about uh, you know how a person's face cannot be misused in this manner. Because in today's day and age, it's, things are becoming even more flawless. I yeah. think with uh, all the technology that we have, but technology is a boon, and you know it, it cannot become uh, a way of Destroying bullying. Lives. This this is bullying. Bullying, hundred percent. It's bullying in every manner. And harassment. And harassment, yes. And and the good thing is that an action has been taken. So today, uh, any female can yeah. actually, you know, seek help, and uh, there will be severe punishment. Yeah, and. I know it was a little serious, but I had to talk it out with you, and I'm so glad that we did. On that note, thank you once again. Thank you. Happy Diwali. Happy Sen Diwali. Sending you so much love. Back to you. And a lot of light. Thank and you. And I hope you have a wonderful year ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you.